Hey, this is Dan at Echo Effects. This is just a quick training video um, specifically for a client of ours that uh, owns a preschool here um, locally in Ohio, but um, this will be uploaded for everybody else to reference as well. So um, when we built their site, we actually did their teacher biographies. We just did a thing in PowerPoint. Um, so you have to have PowerPoint, take a picture of it, upload it here, etc. So they just wanted something a little bit more simple um, for when they have new staff start. So um, easiest way to do that is just go wherever you want, you know, to go on your page. Easiest way to do this is going to be to put the teacher name underneath that. You can do, you know, their title and then do roughly four lines of text so the picture looks good. Okay. And then you're going to go right here. And this is where we're going to insert the image. It's going to push all this stuff over. So just click on Add Media. And whatever picture you want to use here, we're going to make sure it's left justified and whatever size you want it to be. And we're just going to keep it as medium. Now, when we hit Insert, it's going to put it left justified. It's going to push that text over. Now, the picture is a little big, so we'll just click on the Edit Image. And we'll take it down to about 60%. Click Update. And there you go. Okay, now if you want to center this text, it's kind of hard. Um, you can't really center everything on the page. Let me show you something here real quick. Um, if you center this, the word's going to wrap, the text and everything's going to wrap around it. So um, realistically, the best way, if you just want a little bit of spacing here, or if you want this centered um, on itself, let me show you what happens if I just do it, if I just select it and hit center. Okay, it, it takes it really far away from the picture first off, um, so I don't really like the way that looks. So what you can do, um, if you just want to space it over a little bit, you know, until it looks halfway decent, um, there you go, and you will hit update, <clears throat> and we'll see what it looks like real quick here. Scroll down. There you go. Okay. Now, if you want to try and squeeze two per line, you can. If if it's on a mobile or if it's on a screen that's not quite as big, it might start to get jumbled together. Like if you wanted to put another teacher's picture here with some text, but it's going to get jumbled. So you're better off just doing one on top of the other. You know, one here, then one down here, and keep it going like that. So. Um, and again, with this, just play with it until the spacing's right. You'll see here it's a little bit off. It's really the best way to do it. Um, or if you want, you can just open up any um, PowerPoint presentation. Let's see here real quick. We'll just do another option here real quick. What I would recommend is keep a PowerPoint template almost. And we're going to insert a shape. And we'll just make it a triangle. Okay, and we're going to fill it with nothing, and we'll just keep the outline there for a second. And what we're going to do is we'll just take this picture, whatever picture you want to use, and we're going to paste it, and we're going to align it so it looks good there, and then... <clears throat> you can go up here and center this here. You know, whatever font you want to do, whatever. Teacher name. And if you want to put founder, make that a little bit smaller. Okay, and then underneath that, go a little bit smaller. And this is where you want to enter the biographical information here. Okay. And then once you have that, like I said, this is kind of your, your template, sorry. Um, so basically what we're going to do, We'll just take that away. We'll just slide it out of the way there.
and then we will use Jing, which you haven't done. If you haven't downloaded Jing yet, I highly recommend you do. Then we'll just take a quick screenshot of that. And then instead of typing it in there like that, it'll actually just be an image file. So we'll go in here. Let's say we want to put it there. Add media. We'll upload that. And then if you want to center it, left justify it, right justify it, you can do whatever you want. Let's center this one. Uh, that's medium. Let's make it full size. Insert. And I'll show you the difference here. And you can leave a border around it. You can do it whatever you want in PowerPoint. Completely up to you. Um, click update. Now, of course, I would be typing real words, so I wouldn't have those squiggly red lines under. But there you go. Okay. Um, now, the viewer that I have on my browser right now, you're seeing this border. That's not there on your computer, probably. Uh, but if you notice on these other pictures, they're, they're just a little bit fancier, a little bit more done up. You can do whatever you want in PowerPoint. Um, I just suggest making a template and uh, sizing them all correctly so they look uniform. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions, hit us up, echoeffects.com. Have a wonderful day.